Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Fine in here in the Home Weather Office on this Wednesday morning. It is now the 12th day of June 2024. This is the morning briefing coming to you from the Home Weather Office where it is rather warm for this hour of the morning, and it is going to be a warm day. But the key for today is marine layer, delta breeze. I guess that's two things that are the key for today. Uh, so we'll talk about how the marine layer is building right now and what impact that is going to have on valley temperatures as we go through the day today. So let me show you that. First off, here is the satellite this morning. This is the marine layer right in here, building rather nicely uh, along the immediate coast. It's starting to uh, get a little bit thicker, and I'll show you more on that here in a second. But yesterday, this really had gotten scoured away from the coast. Uh, there were coastal spots yesterday well into the 70s. There are some spots on the peninsula in San Francisco. They're up around 80 yesterday. And that has all changed this morning. You can see the extensive marine layer through Half Moon Bay and Monterey, all the way up yeah, Half Moon Bay, then down towards Santa Cruz, and then toward the uh, Carmel area. And then farther to the north, there's still clear sky on the north end of the coast, but that isn't going to affect us. What we're looking at is this building marine layer. So one of the ways we look at the marine layer and its depth is this uh, what's called the Ford Ord Profiler. So this is in Ford Ord, but it gives you an idea of just how the, the marine layer is building. Now this goes from 24 hours ago here to current here. So you read it this direction. Look at this dip. This is, this is actually the marine layer here. So this is warmer air, this is colder air. So that's an inversion. Usually it should be warmer and then colder, but when you have the inversion, what you always do on the coast, especially in the summertime, is it's warmer over colder. And so this is what we track, is how deep the marine layer gets. So yesterday afternoon, it was, it was completely squashed. We had clear skies off the coast. And then during the last uh, 12 hours or so, the marine layer has been steadily building, as you can see here, and now it's up to around 2,000 feet. Now, the deeper it gets, the better chance you have of having the onshore breeze push the marine layer and the cooler air past the Carcana Strait and into the Central Valley. And that's what we're likely going to see this afternoon. So you put that together with the wind. This is the wind this morning um, on the model. And as you can see, there is some onshore breeze here in Solano County, but this area of blue is very, very light wind from Butte County through Sacramento. A little light breeze coming into San Joaquin County, but nothing in the way of uh, cool air on that. So that's this morning. Let me fast forward to about five o'clock this afternoon and look at how the wind now increases. So you have building marine layer, building onshore flow, and that will bring in cooling. Now, the thing is that areas north of, well, let's say Highway 20 and to the north, so that would be Marysville and Chico, are still going to be quite warm today and likely could see temperatures up around 100 degrees or so at around four or five o'clock. For this greater Sacramento area, it's going to be dicey. Does the marine layer come in in time to keep the temperature under 100, or we're going to be up around 97 or 98? I think that's what we'll likely do. And then the bigger difference will happen this evening. So let's say after, let me go ahead another time or two here. So this is uh, late tonight, and we have that good onshore flow now pushing all the way up the valley. And what that means is that well, last night we were still in the 70s and 80s at 11 o'clock. Tonight you'll find temperatures in the 60s. So if you had to run the AC all last night to keep uh, the temperature cool, uh, tonight you're gonna be able to turn off the AC, open the windows, maybe use the whole house fan, something like that to cool things off. So let me show you the HRRR and we can uh, track what this is saying for the temperatures. This is this afternoon at around one o'clock. And as you can see, there are a lot of valley spots that are seeing temperatures at that time well into the 90s, mid to upper 90s, as of one o'clock in the afternoon. Let's go to four o'clock in the afternoon. In Butte County, we're, well, 100. As I scroll over this, there are a couple of 102s that pop up. They come into Solano County, it's 81. Going to Stanislaus County, it's 99 to 100. And even in the lower foothills, we have temperatures along and west of Highway 49 that are in the low to mid 90s. That's at four o'clock in the afternoon. But by the time we get to eight o'clock in the evening, this is still before sunset in Sacramento County, the temperature is 79 degrees. So that's cooler than it was last night at, at 11 o'clock at night. And again, the sun's still up. Good onshore gradient. There will still be a pocket of warm air in the north end of the valley. And as we go through the day on Thursday, Thursday morning with that onshore flow continuing through the night, we wake up to temperatures that are in the 50s in the valley as opposed to the 60s and 70s, many areas have been this morning. And then on Thursday afternoon, 
while it'll be warm, you see temperatures that are in the upper 80s to low 90s. So that really gives you a break from the heat. And so that's what we're going to be looking at today. And that's this is the, the process that we go through to uh, forecast daytime highs at this time of year. It is dependent on onshore flow and marine layer. If you don't have the marine layer, the, the analogy that I always use is if there's no marine layer, but you still have an onshore breeze, it's like you have a fan on, but you don't have the air conditioner on. The, the Freon, if you will, for the Delta Breeze is the marine layer. So if you have marine layer, that's the cool air. You combine that with the onshore flow. Then you've got the air conditioner, Nature's AC, and that'll do the trick for you. And that's what we'll see as we head through the night. But at uh, 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon, most valley areas are still going to be very, very warm, upper 90s. But when you will find the cooling today is this evening, a much cooler, more comfortable evening coming up. And then once we get rid of these daytime highs above 100, it doesn't look as though we're going to see any of those down the road. So that's everything I've got for you this morning. I will be on TV once again today, another few days of that. Um, and uh, yeah, so make it a great day. Take it easy in the heat while we have it. And uh, yeah, make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.